Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and uh, welcome to part 7 of my Wii Shop channel uh, video series. In this video, I'm going to go into Wii channels. So right at the top, oh, there's not very many channels actually. So we've got the Wii U transfer tool. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Save Data Update channel, a very long name. Uh, photo channel 1.1. Oh, there's an update? Huh. And at the bottom, internet channel. Oh, they took down... Wait, no. That's it? Huh. What is photo... What is photo channel 1.1? Released December 10th, 2007 for one to four players. Why? Downloading this channel will install Photo Channel 1.1 on your system. See the more details section for changes Changes from Photo Channel 1.0. View your favorite photos or videos on a big screen using the Photo Channel. You can choose from files saved to your Wii message board or on an SD memory card, not content to just look at them? Uh, you can watch the memories scroll by by using the built-in slideshow option, or just have fun with the files. Whether it's changing their brightness, adding some uh, doodles, or even turning them into puzzles, it's all the enjoyment and more of a traditional album minus the dust. Downloading this channel will install Photo Channel 1.1 on your system. If you already have Chip Photo Channel 1.1, nothing will change even if you download this. To verify whether or not you are currently using Photo Channel 1.1, just point your Wii Remote TM at the Photo Channel on icon on the Wii menu screen. The screen will display Photo Channel 1.1 if that is the version you are using. For those with Photo Channel 1.0, check out the main enhancements in Photo Channel 1.1. Personalize your Wii menu by ch making one of your favorite digital images from an SD memory card as the Photo Channel icon, so basically live tiles and favorite images on the photos live tile before Windows Phone existed. Photo Channel 1.1 replaces MP3 compatibility with the ability to play AAC files. Uh, this new compatibility will work with MP4 audio files in the M4, .m4a format. You can also now choose to have the songs play back in a random order. Please note that once the Photo Channel has been updated to version 1.1, the channel will no longer be able to play MP3 format music files. Wii games that currently have features which use mp3 music files will continue to use the mp3 file format. These Wii games will not be compatible with the AAC files. I'm just trying to figure out why they removed that, unless it's for licensing reasons? But now mp3 is not really a problem. I'm gonna check what version I have. I have, oh that's the me channel, where is photo channel? Oh, I do have photo channel 1.1. Ow, my ear, I need to move my headphone over to my other ear. So yeah, I do have photo channel 1.1. Too bad I can't play mp3 files on it. So here's what the photo, 1.1-B. Hmm. So this is what the photo channel looked like. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, I can't. Hmm, I don't have anything hooked up. I'll be right back. I hope the sensor bar that Nintendo included with the Wii U works for the Nintendo Wii. I assume it will. Because it has the same connector. Actually, good motion controls to the rescue. There we go. Now I've got the uh, Wii Remote back. Um. I have it way over by the TV, so, or by my other, by my large TV. I have two of them. I have a rather cheap small TV next to my monitor that I use for recording stuff. So over, but the actual real one is where I have the sensor bar. Okay. Where is it? Okay. 
This won't show anything. Digital, if you do it from digital camera slash cell phone, it'll say to open the cover on the front of the Wii console and insert an SD card. It's shown in the picture on the left. The photo channel will not modify or overwrite any data saved on your SD card. If I choose how to view photos, it says, how do I view photos? Does your, does your digital camera or cell phone use a small memory card like any of the ones shown below? Um, you know, mini SD cards are basically phased out. They're very rare anymore. Mostly it's just SD card and micro SD card. You can also view some video files as well. You can use adapters, which is nice. So you transfer from a flip phone to an SD card. Go back. If I look at them on the Wii message board, there's two photos. Yay. And I can use the B button to scroll up and down. And here's this. Oops. Very basic interface, back post. Fun! Slideshow. So yeah, um, if I do zoom, oh no, if I choose zoom I can, you can kind of do this, you can't use the d-pad, I mean I can to go left and right, but, where's zoom out, oh. So yeah, that's when I beat um, Mario Party, or no, Mario Galaxy 2. And then this was when I um, beat Mario Kart Wii. Let's just go back to the photo channel menu. So now I'm going to go back to the Wii menu. tired I need to plug in my classic controller again use that instead oh well at least this is so much easier I can just kind of go like this I'm cutting until I make it back there so we've got the Wii U transfer tool the Skyward Sword save data update channel photo channel 1.1 which I actually don't need because I already have photo channel 1.1 and the internet channel now, the Wii U transfer tool allows you to transfer your stuff to the Wii U, and there is nothing over here, it's just Nintendo Other. You can only use the software with the Wii Remote. I'm really glad that you can use the uh, classic controller with the Wii Shop channel. Use this application to transfer saved data, stored Wii points, and downloadable software such as WiiWare and Wii Virtual Console titles from this Wii to a Wii U console. In order to move the data, you will need an SD card or SDHC card with over 512 megabytes of available memory and a target Wii U console. Data moved to the Wii U console will be erased from the source Wii console and cannot be restored. Please note that some software cannot be or cannot be moved. Software that cannot be moved can be played only on the source Wii console. Wii points are redeemable only within Wii Shop channel. In in this case, it's in the virtual Wii. Virtual Wii on the Wii U. To prepare for the data transfer, start Wii mode on the target Wii U console by opening the Wii menu, and then open the Wii System Transfer application. You know, I might it. Now I just realized I might have been able to use my Wii U to record this video series. Maybe it would have had better color. Hmm. That's too bad. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. So the Skyward Sword update channel was released on December 22nd, 2011. Uh, view compatible controllers. Just with the Wii Remote. What this does is it fixes a bug in uh, Skyward Sword, Sword save data. 
This channel is for players of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. During the portion of the game where you collect the parts of the Song of the Hero, after collecting the Thunder Dragon's song in the desert, some players have experienced an issue where the forests and volcano area events related to acquiring parts of the Song of the Hero don't trigger. If your save data has been affected by this issue, you will be unable to continue your progress through the game. This channel was created to return save data affected by this issue to its regular playable state. If you have not played The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, you do not need to use this channel. So basically what it does, Trigger Connor, I showed it off in his um, Skyward Sword Let's Play. But basically what it does is it um, resets a flag or something like that so that it fixes it. Photo channel 1.1, we just looked at that. And then the internet channel. And I also looked at this before. So yeah, I already looked at that several videos ago. Okay, is there a user guide for this? Nope, I'm looking at my list of stuff that I want to do, that I want to make sure that I do. Okay, I want to show the user guide for the Nintendo channel. What? They didn't pull it already, did they? I guess if you did download it, then you can still see it in here, but not anywhere else. So let's go into Title Operations Guide. So we're getting started. No. The Nintendo Channel offers you an exciting look at upcoming titles for the Wii console, as well as the Nintendo DS and 3DS systems. I'm just going to be kind of scrolling through this because I don't want to take too much time reading it because it's 6:39 p.m. on November or January 29th and I kind of want to get all the videos recorded that I want to record. So if you want to pause then you can. Okay. Next page. So here's how you use the Nintendo channel with the Wii Remote. Okay, how to use the buttons. Here's where to contact Nintendo. I assume that this will be the same. I'll kind of go a little bit slowly so that you can read it if it's different, but I doubt it. Oh. Oh, it uses the LC font by Sharp Corporation. We 
uses the tremor library. Is this GPL code? This sound, this looks similar to the stuff for GPL code. Well, isn't that a nice uh, code name? Where's my sensor box? Well, isn't that a nice code name? Oh, and here's the main menu of the Nintendo channel. That's the main menu. There's the videos, the function buttons, change to different pages of videos, returning to the Wii menu and settings. Oh, videos that you have seen will change to gray, that's neat. So if you want to watch a video, you select a video to watch it. And then you can play and pause the video and it shows up and stuff. Oh, and you can switch it, uh, the video image quality between high and regular settings. So you have to go to the settings on the main menu and select the video quality settings. You can't change it while you're watching the video. So rewind and fast forward is the thing. Push B to access that. Video or sound may be interrupted depending on the network environment you're using. You can't save the videos on the Wii console or the SE memory card. Oh, here's important functions. Or button functions. Commercial message settings. Whoa, that. That sounds a lot like how the Wii U had basic advertising or something like that, where it would, like, the home button would light up and say, hey, new stuff. Unless you turn that off, of course. You know, I really miss how the Wii console would have the disc uh, slot illuminate and stuff. It was really cool. Basic information. I like DS download play. Whoa, Nintendo actually takes the today's play history on the Wii message boards of Wii consoles around the country and puts that in Nintendo channel. I didn't actually know that was used for anything else other than just showing you how much you've played each day. 
Huh. Interesting. So there's that right there. Oh, so Logitech does make a wireless keyboard for the Nintendo Wii. Um, my keyboard that I've been using for my Nintendo Wii is the Logitech Wave keyboard. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I've been using that. It's the version with the uh, Windows 8 logo on the Windows key. It's really interesting how you can connect uh, the Nintendo Wii to the Nintendo DS and then use Nintendo the DS download play. The record of time played is saved up to 10 times per day. The 11th and subsequent records are not added to that title's playtime. Which makes me wonder if it'll actually show up in... Oh, this is really... This is just really bizarre to me how the Wii and the Nintendo DS worked together back in 2007. I mean, it's cool, but it's like not something I th thought it could even do. I assume the Nintendo DS has like Bluetooth or something because the Wii has Bluetooth, but it's like really, wow. I don't even know what the Nintendo DS has, like the regular DS. I know the DSi has Wi-Fi, but I mean, does that use Bluetooth as well? I don't know. So this is for records of gameplay, how long you've played every day. This is really interesting. I wonder what my stuff is, would show. I hope it's still available. So you can send data to Nintendo about your, uh, what your Wii settings are for like the sensor bar and screen settings. This is really interesting. Oh, this is how they tabulate your data. This is really nice that it's like clear.
Ranking is not given to Nintendo DS titles as of September 14th, 2009. This is interesting. So basically kind of like YouTube or uh, like YouTube or Amazon with the people who like this also liked thing. This is very interesting. Oh, and that's it. stuff um so i think okay so what ones can i download okay amazon instant video and nintendo channel are downloadable netflix is downloadable nintendo channel is downloadable okay so in the next video i'm going to be downloading stuff and buying a game and i'll record um i'll use my phone as a secondary camera just in case uh, the recording has issues. So stay tuned for part 8. Goodbye for now. Oh my um, mouse is still in my Nintendo Wii. Okay, I need to put this back in. I don't know why Windows 10 makes the mouse pointer disappear when you unplug your mouse. It's, I feel like I'm using a tablet or something. Like a tablet operating system when that happens. Mm -hmm.